Hi guys, welcome back, Scanlink here, we're off for more of this nightmare of a game. In the last episode, I died once again to a jerkish enemy kill, and it was actually a death counter, which annoyed the hell out of me, after doing my research, I think I put it in the caption. And as well, in the last episode, we found terror, and we gained the use of equipping... Wait for it... Espers! Yes, we've got Rumma, Kirin, Stray, and Siren. And, well, if we use them, we obviously can, well, attack with that magic point that they tell us at the side. But, we can also learn magic now, which every character can learn magic. But, it's basically every time that when you beat enemies, magic points will appear on the top of the screen along with your experience. And you times that by the learn rate, and then you learn skills. Once it reaches 100%, you can use the skill, and it's permanently learned. Now, I'm just trying to think on who I want to give the cure spells to. I'm guessing Celez because she has good magic, but I'm just going to check stats just in case. I'm going to be a little bit more tacticianry than I usually am, because, well, it's just nice that way, I guess. So I'm just having a look at magic power here. So that's 28, 25, 46. Gao is actually pretty good on magic. The only problem is if I give him healing spells, I can't use them when he's attacking. So I'd rather give him attacking spells first, so I do not have to keep relying on rages all the time. So I think I'll make him start with Rumor first. And uh, Celez, whoops. That was a slight lag. I did not mean to go in there. This is very disproportionate. Okay, I want to give you... Um, yeah, I want to give you Kirin. No level up bonus, but uh, all of the heals, which is definitely what we want. Especially when she's our designated healer, but we're gonna have to give someone else some magic just in case. Sign could benefit more from status ailments. So I might give him that. And because we've got one empty party member left and Locke's more of a thief, we can give him Muddle Imp and Float. Float is actually a really good technique and it doesn't do any damage because the great because magic is split into three groups. Grey grey are status ailments. Uh, black is damaging attacks, and uh, white is healing. And as you can see, scan right there, really good. Tells you the weaknesses of enemies, tell them what they uh, are uh, strong and weak against, what they absorb, how much HP they have, how much magic they currently have, if they have a status ailment. Scan is really good. But yeah, now we've got that equipped, we're going to have to wait until everyone learns those moves, but, so for now, magic's kind of useless. But hey, that's not what we're after at the moment. We just need to level up and gain some stuff. But what I've got to do right now is get back to Jidor and stock up like nobody's business and spend money like a crazy madman so I do not have to deal with another game over in three episodes. Okay, as you just saw right there, I got one magic point for that battle. That means one times whatever spell we're trying to learn equals the total amount of points. So, for example, if I just go into uh, skills here quickly, go on lock for example with stray, see? 1 times 7 equals 7, 1 times 5 equals 5, 1 times 2 equals 2. Simple math, and there you go. So, using that math, we need to get spells up to 100% so they can learn it. So that's pretty much how learning magic in this game works. Of course, not everyone is suited to be a mage, so you might want to give them specialized attacks. But if you plan right, you can literally uh, teach everybody every spell. It's that awesome. And because this game is quite a dick... Oh, new formation. I guess I'll show this off. Yeah, but because this game is kind of being a dick to me recently, I mean, I know, I know that game movers is kind of a thing when it comes to RPGs. It is possible, but... Jesus Christ, it's been happening way too often, and it's just been happening in the most dickish ways possible. The one beforehand was because I reached a state of purgatory and I had to reset. And then this time, I get killed, and the person with the most HP was like 10 HP less from surviving the attack, pretty much. It's always that, and it just winds me up, and it just... It's making me play. It's making me want to continue this let's play less and less. Seriously, it's just ugh. This has like been the most failure let's play ever, and I don't want to be sounding negative, but Jesus, it pisses me the right off. So now I'm going to be healing like crazy, and when I do get a nice chance to level grind, which is not at this point, I might consider it. But I am getting lots of experience on the way, regardless. And there we go, two magic points. That helps. 
Don't need the softs, give me all the monies. I'm gonna have to go to Jido and heal, just to be sure. Because I'm not taking any more chances. I'm not even leaving it up to luck anymore. I am just gonna kick ass. And saying that, really, in the last episode, I should have really went uh, and kept Edgar and Saban. And I just remembered I didn't get the item that I said I was gonna get. Uh, do I want to go back and get it right now? Uh, I don't really want to go back in the Jai door because of the freaking Hades Gigas. They're not that big of a hassle. It's just when they counter a uh, death count at you, it's the issue. So let's see. I've got loads of money. Let's go spend some stuffs. Armor shop. I need some armors. Okay, Mithril shield. Uh, that's too quite expensive though. Jesus. Okay, uh, who have I got on me? I guess I'll get... Yeah, two of them. Well, I actually make some people's uh, stats go up. I guess I'll get two of them. One for Sabin, one for Lock. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Apparently Sabin lost his equipment and everything because I swear I gave him a ninja gear. Because we had to switch him out, he's lost all his equipment. So maybe it wasn't a good idea to buy that. Whatever. Yeah, I can't be bothered really. I just feel a bit blare at the moment. Behave! Look on the bright side. Next video, hopefully... Uh, well, what do I mean hopefully? Next video on my channel is actually the uh, the trailer for my uh, game. So I hope you watch that when it comes out. Uh, what am I doing here? I need to go to equipment. I don't know what I'm doing. Get a mithril shield on. Well, he doesn't really need it that much. You need it more. No, not the... Uh, mithril shield... I don't know. Mithril shield seemed pretty good there, actually. Yeah, I'll give you the Mithril Shield as well, why the hell not? We've got them. And you've already got a Heavy Shield. Uh, you can't equip it. Hang on a second, give it... Ah, there we go. Okay. I was confused there for a second, I was wondering why you couldn't equip it. I just bought Mithril Shields, not Heavy Shields. Derp. Don't know what's the matter with me today. I forgot to equip the headband. Ugh. This is just terrible, I'm not thinking clearly. It's the game, man. It's messed me up. Bandana. Uh, well, the headband gives you a lot more stats overall, so I'll do that. What does it actually say for the headband? I'm curious. Eh, it doesn't say anything. It just gives you a bunch of stats everywhere. Okay, interesting. Okay. Okay, enough with equipment. Let's get out of here. I actually want to go to the um, auction house first, because even though I don't have the money, I believe we can actually get some stuff now. I just want to be sure on that. Because if not, we'll come back later anyway. I mean, we we'll probably pretty much have to. That's the item shop. I don't want to go there, because I'm pretty much stocked up. Because I didn't actually get to use any items. Uh, is the auction house going on? Taylor's auctions. Yeah, they're not doing auctions yet at the moment. Got to come back later. So I'm going to go back to Jaidor and we'll take that one tower that we didn't explore in the last two episodes because of certain events. Oh, baby, I just stole a Phoenix down. Capture is going to come in so handy, I swear. Hey, I got a Mithril Knife as well. That was a very eventful battle. I'll probably chop that up in a little bit. Okay. I'm outside of Jaidor. I'm gonna save now. And I saved. Now, if I get killed, I don't have to backtrack all the way. And yes, I have a backup file, so there's no problems. So if I sound so annoyed... It's just that looking at this game is just annoying me now at the moment. Because I know what it's gonna do to me. I want to get back into the spirit of liking this game. It's just going to take a while. Because I'm fed up with it. Just, ugh, I don't want to talk about it. Let's just kill these scrubs. That would cheer me up a little. Let's get a, yeah, number one. That would do. Capture! I want your monies! Or items, whatever you drop. I want to steal your potion, actually, before you get one shot by his dispatch. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. That looks weird, because it didn't... I don't think you're supposed to do that with capture, to be honest. Oh well, it doesn't matter really. It is pretty much attack, but you get a steal er literally every time, so... Really? He doesn't need fight once he gets capture, because it is pretty much steal and fight at the same time. It's kind of a waste. Am I gonna learn any magic here? Nope! Damn it! 
And we all know that if I want to use cure, we have to use it multiple times. I can't talk to that woman. This place is dangerous, and don't you dare think about jumping between buildings. Sorry, dude, I already did like a friggin' ninja. But anyway, we need to go into the inn here. Because if you see this, this is the room that I was talking about uh, one to two episodes ago. And it is quite an annoying puzzle as well, so... But I already know how to do it. Because you have to gather cl uh, clues around the area. You have to talk... Uh, well, you have to check this clock, and it says, The clock's hands have stopped. Please reset the hour. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, or 12. First, it's 6. Clock's hands have stopped. Please reset the minute. The minute, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50. It is 10. If it was at 60, that would just kind of defeat the purpose of choosing an hour, really. So we want 10. And then the clock's hands have stopped. Please reset the seconds. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Of course, 60 is a waste. And we want 50. And... <laughs> Secret passage. Let's go check it. There are still random encounters in this building. I believe so. We go up a secret staircase and... Of course! Why am I not surprised? Slam Dancer. Thank you for prolonging the inevitable... I'm just going to use Soldier to boil up your ass. Ah! No way! Of course you would! Of course you would. You almost one-shotted me once again. <sighs> I was just gonna say whatever, but that was really close. I'm surprised I actually survived that. The game's just teasing me at this point. And Gao's just spamming fire from his soldier rage, which is actually pretty good. That means he could have used magic beforehand. Never thought of that, actually. Ugh. I'm surprised I survived that battle, actually. I'm really su surprised I survived that battle. That's an achievement right there. If I've already made one. Uh, I was going to cut that battle out. But anyway, we saved the chainsaw. Don't know why it's two words. But yeah, that's a really good weapon for... Well, a really good tool for Edgar, I should say. Because if we go check it... It's all the way down here. Uh, hang on. Tools at the very bottom, aren't they? No, they're in the middle here. Chainsaw. Randomly dispatches an enemy. Use with the tools command. It either does massive damage. No, I want to check it. I can't check it. It either does massive damage or it has a chance of one shotting. And if it does do the one shot in motion, it may count as a miss. So it's kind of lucky, really. But it's a really good weapon, nevertheless. So I recommend you pick it up. And once again, we got one of these odd little areas where we can stand outside, but it doesn't really do anything. So. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole of Zozo, except for the pots and stuff that I forgot to check before getting killed, because I had to backtrack. Ah, there we go! Gal learnt Bolt! He outside learnt Sleep! And we got all my money back because it got stolen by the friggin' idiots. There was It was two uh, Harvesters and a Slam Dancer. So yeah, that wasn't pleasant, but yeah, getting that uh, chainsaw is really good. And yeah, it's, for some reason, if you leave the area, the wall goes back in the way. It's kind of weird. But anyway, I'll meet you back at Jaidor. Uh, yeah, I'll meet you back at Jaidor because you don't need to see me backtrack there. And hopefully, I do not get killed but just by leaving this area. Dude, get out of the way. Cheers. Hey, Gaon gained a level up and sign learnt mute. We're gaining a lot of stuff at this point on my way in backtracking, so I'm going to be leaving the level up screens in. Oh no! No! I'm not having this again. I'm not even thinking about killing you. I'm not having it. Get out of there. Thank you. Screw you, Hades Gigas. You can go to Hades. <laughs> Celeste gained a level, and Sign learnt slow. Outlock learnt muddle as well. Uh, that's confusion, pretty much. We all know this, because Kefka used it on me in the battle with Nash. Gosh dang it! Whoa! Whoa! No, no, no! Frickin' no! Frickin' no! What? What? Get out of there now! No! Oh my god. Gow! 
Get out! You lifesaver! Holy shit! I do not even know what happened there. He just used stone. It hit everybody. Did massive damage. And I somehow survived long enough to get out of there. I need a heal. And yet, Jidor is right down there. Game, that's too close calls already in this one episode. And I've been doing too much battle clipping. And I'm already up to 25 minutes. I don't even know how long the episode's going to be at this point. Why does this game do this to me? I can't believe I'm going to have to use a tent right outside of Jidor. This is freaking unbelievable. But screw it, I'm using a tent. I'm not taking any chances with this piece of crap. I was debating if I wanted to record today or not because this game was going to be like this. And what do you know? Freaking Let's Play Curse is strong with this one. I thought it was Battle Metro would have a M. Jesus! Whatever, I'm at Jidor. I can't believe that I actually made it to Jidor without a bloody random encounter. Just spent extra money on pretty much an inn, but whatever. Am I, am I truly full he fully healed? Oh my god, I am. Oh, this game. Why? Why does it hate being recorded? I, I've been saying this for the past five episodes, I feel like. And I feel like I'm just being a boring ass whinger. I'm like an angry video game nerd of Europe. Ugh. I need a freaking tent. Give, no, give me free tents. Because I'll be needing the extra insurance. Give me three more Phoenix Downs. Uh, a revivery? No, I definitely need more tinctures because I can actually use magic now. And yeah, that'll do. I'm completely stocked. Screw you, game, and your freaking mug. I'm in the back row as well, so I should have more defense. And that dude was in the way, so I couldn't move. But anyway, we need to get some information around here. I'm actually going to go a little over my limit, because I don't know how long this episode's going to be. But I really want to get to the bit that I want to get to, because it's pretty funny. So we need to talk to this dude who's walking back and forth, I believe. But what's this dude? Oh yeah, 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 we've already had that. So we've got to talk to this dude who's now here. Maria? Whoa! Are you talking to me? Wow, he's out of alignment, that's not correct. He must have moved when I talked to him. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. Wow, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh boy, now I really am in trouble. What was that about? Celez looks just like Maria. That was locked, by the way, because it wasn't in speech marks. Because if he was the only part, party member of, well, with you, that would be the thing. But hang on a minute, we got a, he dropped a letter. He's the director of the of the operas here. Everyone just calls him the Impresiero. I think that's how you pronounce it. He's been uh, he's been in the tizzy. Don't even know that's a word. Ever since that letter arrived. Yeah, the translation exa isn't exactly the best. My dear Maria, I want you for my wife. I'm coming for you, the Wandering Gambler. Who's this Wandering... What's his name? You born on a farm, son? That's just rude, that is. But guess what? He appears in Final Fantasy... He, he appears in Kingdom Hearts 2. He's, a, he's an optional boss, in a way, for a minigame. Which I wish he actually had a different part but yeah the blackjack playing world traveling casino dwelling free spirit who appears in Kingdom Hearts 2 which is kind of awesome in a way but downgraded it's Setsa the Wandering Gambler he is actually he used to be my best mage in my original file I am not kidding this dude is awesome and he also comes stocked with his skills oh whoops I want to put that back in <laughs> yeah he comes stocked with slot and that is a really good move, because not only does it heal you if you get, well, no nothing in a row. If you do get stuff in a row, it depends on what you get, which I'll cover once we get him, because I'm going to put it here. And, oh, he's just amazing. His, his weapons are just out of the blue, and yet so funny at the same time. It's amazing. That sets so only with the world's only airship. And how do we get to a place where we can't use a boat? We fly. <laughs> if we could get that airship, we'd make for we'll make the empire in no time. Let's set up a meeting with 
upsets her. And we get Setsa's epic music while we're just standing in here. Once we leave it will end though, sadly. But we'll get to listen to it soon. Once again. Because that's an awesome tune. I love it. I love it. It psyched me up. I'm happy. You hear me? I'm happy. I'm psyched for this. Get out of my way, dude. You're going to ruin my mood. So what we want to go down now to is back to the Opera House, remember? Uh, wow. I forget that if you enter the town on a specific point and you leave the town, you'll end up on that specific point. So I have to go around the bloody town. Ugh. I wish I just put you in a designated area, like somewhere what, around here, so you don't walk straight into the town, so you can go in every direction. That's kind of annoying. But it's a minor gripe, so whatever. Come on, please don't! Okay, never mind, I couldn't even finish my sentence, so whatever. In fact, I'm going to leave this battle in, because it'll it, it will probably be the last battle before I get into the uh, Opera House, and probably the last one for this episode, and I may learn some more techniques. But hey, I am not taking any chances with this thing, I'm going all out. I don't care. I'm going for a counter right here. Number two. Boom, 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 boom. Get wrecked. They kind of resist lightning quite a bit, actually. And that's not because of Gal's slightly poor magic, no. Because it's only a little bit lower than Celeza's, and it does way less damage, so they're definitely weaker to ice than they are to thunder. So I'm going to try fire with Soldier here. Boom! Yeah, we don't even get the basic fire spell until later, and I forgot to mention, actually, all characters still learn their normal skills during level ups. Like, Sign learns his sword skills, Sabin learns his blitzes, and Celez and Terra learn their own magic spells at certain levels. But... All characters must learn certain magic from the Espers. It doesn't affect them through level ups. They have to learn them through that. Including Celez and Terra, because they don't learn every magic in the game. So that would just be ridiculous. Sign learned fire! Excuse me, I forgot that the, um, Rama comes with fire. No, it's not Rama. I forget one of our starting things comes with fire, but we get a lot more better fire spells later on. That's what I meant to say. Excuse me. Well, I've got to say, after the beginning of this episode, I've poked right up, I must say. I don't want to sound redundant, but you know, bloody game. Oh, I actually want to leave this area. I actually want to leave this area, because I do remember when I first played the game, I kind of struggled here. So let me leave quickly, and I'm going to do like another... Uh, should I keep this episode short? Uh, yeah, because otherwise why not get another chance to save. So you know what? I'll cut it here, and in the next episode, we will go into the Opera House. I know that we didn't get a lot done today, but we did get a few levels. We had a bunch of close calls, God's sake, but, ugh, we did learn a bit of magic, I guess, I mean, nah, it's easy doing it this way, so, Locke has learned one of his three spells, um, Sign learnt all of his spells, wow, that was quick, and I guess you can keep the HP boost for now, uh, Celez has learnt only two of Kirin's, but that's because she already had Cure to begin with, so that wasn't affected. And I really want her to get Cure too, it's just going to take forever to learn it. But Regen's good enough for now, it's kind of like a Cure every turn really. Or half a Cure. And... Him with Rummer. He's still got quite a ways to go, but he's almost learnt Poison, which is actually pretty nice. So you know what, we'll leave everyone with that for now. We've got almost... Uh, well, we've got half of our skills learnt already. And yeah, I'm going to call it quits. So in the next episode, guys, sorry if it's very short, but Jesus Christ, two close calls are enough for me to make this ended right now. <sighs> See you guys in the next episode, where we actually tackle one of my favourite parts of the game, the Opera House. Because derpiness will ensue, and also a mad dash for fame, if you know what I mean. Not in that way. See you guys next time. Hoi! <laughs> Laugh, saying, Laugh your head off.